Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Camp Motion Picture Films. Well, a new release of a couple older films. This is the Slime City and Slime City Massacre double feature Blu-ray. These are both by uh, Gregory Lamberson. I just recently reviewed his movie Killer Rack. Uh, yeah, and this is the debut of these both on uh, Blu-ray. I had seen Slime City and Slime City Massacre uh, back on uh, Slime City Massacre in 2010 when it came out. And uh, Slime City uh, probably a few years before that. Uh, Slime City uh, is a 1989 movie that's filmed in New York City in 16 millimeter, and it's a cult classic. It's got this uh, definitely this like kind of splatter punk rock mentality to it, and uh, you know it, it's earned its place in the cult history. Uh, I've always thought it was a fairly solid uh, splatter movie uh, with an amazing ending. Uh, Slime City essentially follows uh, a story of a kind of a horny college student who moves into this uh, kind of strange apartment complex with these strange weirdos. They start feeding him this Himalayan yogurt, and uh, it turns out it's this weird ectoplasm that starts taking over his body and turning him into this old cult leader. And uh, he starts to turn into a, a slime creature when he uh, ha and he has to go out and kill to become normal again. And over time, he starts to be taken over by it uh, until he has a you know is a confronted by his girlfriend. I don't, I don't want to spoil too much, but the ending of the film is really what uh, places, cements this one in history as a splatter classic. Uh, and uh, the things I really enjoy about the movie is that it's shot in 16 millimeter in New York. And uh, as you've seen, I reviewed Driller Killer recently, kind of the similarity in that kind of aspect. It captures a really graininess and grittiness, gritty feel to it. Uh, the acting in Slime City, uh, for the most part, is pretty lousy. Uh, except I would say that the two leads in there, to be honest, uh, they stand out. They're pretty good. Uh, they do, and one even plays dual roles, which I thought was kind of cool. I think the two leads carry their weight in the film. Uh, it's kind of a schlocky and a little clunky in places, but uh, it was the director's first feature film, uh, and it does have heart, and it does have a lot of memorable moments in it, although sometimes there's not a lot going on, and the concept in Slime City is actually really fun and different and unique, uh, so you got to give it points there. Um, the sequel, Slime City Massacre, was made in 2010, and it's a much more ambitious film. Uh, it follows the story of uh, basically a group of four living in the post-apocalyptic world after a dirty bomb went off in New York City, and they kind of live in, in this weird area they call Slime City, where uh, there's this crazy mayor who, with prostitution and filth and grit and all sorts of nasty stuff going on. Uh, these four end up stumbling across the old uh, Zachary, I guess is the old cult leader, Zachary, oh, his old stash of Himalayan yogurt, uh, Ecto plasm they start eating it and uh the wine elixir and they become hooked and they be become hooked on it uh and they start to transform uh again to the old cult members uh this film the, both films actually have this kind of a statement on drug abuse and sexuality and slimy goodness but in slimy uh fashion i guess so yeah um Slime City Massacre, uh, the, my only real complaint about the movie is some of the, uh, I believe, digital effects are, are a little lacking, uh, kind of rough in spots here and there. But besides that, I, I'm impressed by its ambitious, I'm impressed by the large uh, ambition, I'm impressed by the large cast, uh, and a lot of the practical effects are really cool. Uh, the acting's a lot better in Slime City Massacre, to be honest. Uh, it's, a, it's a step above, for sure, than Slime City. Debbie Rashawn's in there. And actually, I'm going to say that a lot of the people in the movie give a good performance and they they do pretty good especially uh some of the performances are more layered and deeper than you would think for something like this uh but yeah uh, things about the the release itself both both look good both uh are in uh you know widescreen they both look good they look great on the tv i don't remember uh either of them looking this good but uh i was impressed with the picture quality of both um they have a lot of features. It actually took me a couple days to get through everything. On Slime City, there's actually two commentaries on there. Uh, the one was shot in 2006, and it, it, it syncs up with the longer VHS, so it's kind of weird and clunky and, and broken up in parts. But the, the new 2016 commentary was actually really good. Uh, and, uh, you know, it actually got let me know a little bit about Gregory Lamberson, and uh, he seems like a really cool guy. I enjoy the way he actually... Uh, feels about making movies and I enjoy the fact that he is kind of loyal to his actors and his crew and things like that uh he seems like a generally good person who cares about making films um uh let me see what else is on the original Slime City uh DVD I'm sorry I have to check just to make sure oh there's a there was a making of extra and there was interviews with some of the cast which was uh, about a 44 minute interview with uh the two lead actors of Slime City which was also interesting uh the Slime City Massacre uh Blu-ray had a commentary, uh, well, Feature had a commentary on it, which was also uh, very similar to Slime City. They went into detail, had a lot of the people uh, spouting in that worked on the film, which is really cool. And uh, 
they all participated in the commentary, which was like nice. And you could add directly ask the people what they thought and how they did. And there's also an hour and 26 minute um, uh, kind of making of where there's a lot of interviews with cast and crew, including people like Lloyd Kaufman and Roy Frumpkis. Uh, so that that was really cool. Uh, Roy Frumpkis plays a really funny role. Uh, Ronald, uh, was it Ronald Dump or Ronald Ronald? chump i can't remember what it is but yeah he's a new york city businessman kind of strange especially today to think back that they were uh you know having a character like that in the movie they would did play face in new york so you know but uh yeah so a really nice uh, hour and a half documentary there's some making of some bloopers all sorts of stuff so it's a it's a fairly loaded disc uh both of the picture quality look good uh and both the movies i think are fun and uh worth watching uh like i said some of the digital effects in slime city massacre are pretty rough but uh yeah also, uh, if you guys still have the Slime City uh, Grindhouse collection, hold on to that because that still has, uh, um, what does it have on there? It still has uh, Undying Love and uh, Naked Fear and uh, the Johnny Gruesome that aren't on this Blu-ray. So you'll still need your Slime City Grindhouse collection to get all of uh, Gregory Lamberson's movies. But uh, yeah, regardless, uh, not necessarily, uh, Slime City's not a perfect movie, but uh, to me it's a memorable movie and it has one of the greatest uh scenes with the brain i'm not gonna like i said i don't want to spoil anything oozy drippy i like kind of melt movies so it's sort of my thing uh always compared to street trash uh to me street trash is always, street trash has always been a masterpiece uh slime city is not necessarily a masterpiece to me but it's fun it's gooey and uh again i like its aesthetics um slime city massacre is a uh, an ambitious uh sequel made years later uh and it's it's probably better than uh it gets credit for but I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't heard too many negative things about the movie, but I can see a lot of people being overly critical of something like that when a sequel's made so much later. Uh, I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Like I said, ambitious. Uh, a lot of characters. And uh, a lot of shout-outs and homages in the right spots and in the right amount. Uh, so, yeah. Also, look out for the Basket Case uh, um, Street Trash uh, shout-out in uh, Slime City Massacre. Yeah, but again... I'd say this is kind of worth checking out. If you like the movies, uh, well worth your time. And uh, not really a lazy uh, addition at all. There's lots of stuff on here. Lots of stuff to keep you busy. I'm Mr. Parka. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Well, what do you think? Well, it couldn't be any worse than the last one. Welcome to Slime City. Home to the derelicts of society. I need some money. And land of murdering, melting monsters with an appetite for whores, bums, and junkies. When Alex moves into an apartment haunted by the occult, he is seduced by spirits and slowly becomes a hideous, slime-spattered demon. Alex, you're hurting me. No, I'm killing you. With a stomach for evil. <laughs> Fed up with this urban cesspool, Alex's girlfriend demands he pick himself up and escape the bloodthirsty supernatural forces around him. But the only way out of Slime City is for the innocent to confront the putrid powers of darkness. Go back! The 80s grindhouse classic by the doctor of gore, Gregory Lamberson, is back and digitally remastered in all its repugnant glory. Take a trip to Slime City for the most gruesome and disgusting climax you will ever see. What makes you think that there's nobody in here? Well, I'm sure there are people in here, but if they can survive, then so can we. The scream of gang will be gargling your own blood. What the hell? Zachary Devins, homebrewed elixir. Zachary and his followers have been possessing people for decades. She has used and abused her body.
now she'll learn to use her flesh. So our Himalayan yogurt is actually ectoplasm. It's the residue of a spirit. When taken alone, the elixir expands consciousness. But when you combine it with the ectoplasm, it releases the personality of the spirit that produced ectoplasm. Stage one, possession, fills the host with the urge to kill. Stage two, allows the spirit to temporarily take over the host. Ah! There's a good chance that if we experience stage three, we're gonna disappear forever. Crazy bastard! Welcome to Slime City.